But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people and welcome to a new series on the channel called Zoo Tycoon 2. This game is really awesome. Uh, it has been out for quite a while now. I think it's over it's have it is it's been out for over 10 years, but it's still very good and especially uh, the way we are going to try and play this. Um, so the first few minutes of this video is going to be me explaining a few things about the new series and uh, about how we're going to do st uh, stuff. If you don't want to watch that, then feel free to click through the video until we start building. But I do want to say that there are some important uh, things to say. Starting off with uh, what type of series is this going to be? Well, it's going to be a creative series. Uh, some of you guys have asked me to play Planet Coaster because you can do a lot of the, with the detailing. Um, personally, I like Plant Coaster, but it just it is a little bit too much. This is a little bit down in uh, in terms of options, but because this is a very modded series, Zoo Tycoon 2 can be very creative if you have a lot of mods, and I will come back to that later. Uh, so what we're gonna do in this series is we're gonna build a world zoo, which is basically a zoo with all types of animals uh, from all corners of the world. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, then you're of course free to leave them in the comment section, and I will try to. Um, to do that but I have my own sort of plan too so I will try to fit them in but I can't promise I will do all the animals that you guys suggest and maybe the animals are not even in the game or there are no mods for it although there are a lot of animal mods so um so yeah it's gonna be like a little mix uh, of making and designing uh, exhibits for animals we're gonna do some speed builds every episodes where where I will show wh what I've built I can't do that on screen because that will make the videos like an hour long um, because uh, most of these builds are, are actually taking an hour or longer to, to do. So speed build is going to be the f a thing in this series. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, at the end, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do a little tour of what we've built that day, and we're going to do a little sort of recap about the management, uh, because we still need to make our animals happy and our visitors happy. Um, for now, the game is, uh, the zoo still is not open. I have drawn some stuff on the ground for this episode. Um, and one important thing to notice is that this is the Dutch version. Now, Zoo Tycoon 2, uh, doesn't have a language option. Uh, it was still from the time that you had installed installation disks and Basically the the, the language of your installation disk decides uh, Decided what type of language you ha you'd have in a game and since I live in the Netherlands and I bought this this game in the Netherlands It's gonna be Dutch. I can't change it uh, On the internet the the answer to can you change language is basically no uh, So if you know of anything, uh, although I tried a lot um, already, but if you know of anything, leave a comment. Maybe I can change it to English. Uh, but, of course, I'm going to be talking English the entire series. And I will translate everything that you need to know. And most of the things in the, in the game actually have icons. So you will learn pretty fast. And uh, you, you don't even really need to know the language. So that's uh, most of the important things out of the way. Now, I have to state that I'm playing with a heavily modded um, version of the game. I have over 250 mods in the game right now. Although most of those mods are just a single new animal added to the game, but some will change like the UI, some will change like the way you play stuff. And it was all necessary to really make the creative uh, mind come out in this series, that we, that we actually have the ability to do so. Um, so, and the last thing I'm going to say about this is, uh, if you want to see more of this done, please leave a like and or a comment. I know that this is a bit fishy uh, and a bit, you know, oh, there he goes again. But it has it is important, especially for a first episode of the series. For a YouTuber to know if the series is 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 good to continue or if if the audience doesn't really want to see more. Um, that being said, normally the intro of a video won't be so long for this series. I will just uh, tell you guys what we're gonna do, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So what today what we're gonna do is uh, probably you all you've already seen it in the title. Uh, we're gonna make a coral reef aquarium. Now we're gonna basically make a building like I drawn out here. Uh, make a building um, and have some. Uh, some tanks in it with, with aquariums um, and we're gonna put in all types of fish uh, and species that live in the coral reefs uh, for, in the oceans. So that's what we're gonna do today uh, and we're gonna go into the speed build right now and I will see you back once the, once the speed build is done and I will take you on a tour.
and welcome back guys i hope you guys enjoyed the speed build um i'm gonna show you guys what we've done now basically this is the building that we're gonna use here um i already put up the reef over here um some of the this is a bit finicky so it might not always work that great but let's go in i'm actually quite happy with how it turned out i had it sort of drawn um before so i could actually have an, like an idea uh it looks very cool the roof is very nice um now you come in over here. This is the uh, the what was it called? The blue ringed octopus. Uh, I've have all, everything is written down here in front of me. So this is the blue reef octopus. Let's see if we can find one. Um, yeah, they are over there, over there in the uh, in the distance. We have, we added some fishes in to make it a, uh, appear a little bit fuller. Uh, we have some of these lobsters over here who just sit around. They don't really do anything, but they're ambient creatures in this uh, in this in this game. So we have this over here. Uh, I think it looks very cool. We can jump around by the way. Uh, and uh, yeah, it looks very cool. It's just uh, another sort of a reef. You guys came out of the tank. That's a bit weird. Um, then we move on to uh, this part where we have the green moray eels, uh, which are very cool. Um, I wish they would hide in the uh, in the coral um, like they like they do in real life. But yeah, that's the thing that we can only hope for. That's, uh, that's a bit too much to ask from the AI at this point. And again, we have some... Uh, some fishes in just put in there that don't requ require any any care or food or whatever just to be there to fill up um, the actual tank a little bit more uh, over here we have some toilets because people need to go to the toilet of course uh, we have some donation boxes these are the only ones that I really could find in the mods uh, in the mods that had sort of an ocean theme to it so I decided to, to go to these ones uh, the shark tail actually sticks in the tank a little bit but you can't barely see it so why would I point that out? Why would, would it make it imper imperfect? Oh, this we need to change. This uh, piece of coral sticks out a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is the next tank. These are the, what was it called? The Spotted Eagle Rays. And again, we have a few creatures in there to just give it a, a feeling that it is really a coral reef. Um, so we have the Spotted Eagle Rays here. They do tend to swim at the, uh, at the, um, at the top of the water a little bit. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of a, whoops, he's, he's splashing around. Hello, little guy. Splashing around. Or are they fighting? I don't know. No, they're probably not fighting. Uh, <laughs> so let's move on. Okay, these little things. Uh, we have one on the other side too. These are the staff areas. We can go in. In the staff area, uh, we have the water filters to keep the water clean. We have some benches where the staff can sit on. We, we currently have one zookeeper who is um, sure who is, who is, uh, caring for all these, uh, all these tanks. Now, if we would, we can actually go in here and dive in the actual thing and dive underwater. And go and see, wow, that is really bright. Uh, we also added in lamps to just make uh, make this a little bit easier to see. We can, I think we can just glitch through the wall here. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not supposed to happen. But there you go. It makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, so we have the little staff area over there. Then we come over here. Um, these, this is the exhibit I'm, I'm mostly worried about. Because uh, these these are called the Wobbegong Sharks. They are uh, sharks with kind of their frills on, uh, underneath their mouth. They eat from the sand, from the from the, their bottom feeders. Um, and they do look really cool. They do look really cool. Um, and I wanted to have at least one, like, a, a little bit bigger creature in here. But these are small tanks. And there, there was the idea was not to have bigger tanks than this. So this was, like, the biggest creature I could fit in here and giving it enough space so that's the, again the worry I'm, I'm it might not be enough space for these guys but it still looks very cool i like those little fishes there too oh he blow he's bloating up Ooh, cool he actually blows himself up um with air not with dynamite uh and then we are back over here again there's another staff area and this is sort of the main tank in the middle um these are all fishes that don't need really need any care or food so that's what's that why we're easy to just throw in a lot of them these are all i think they're all uh, mods, so uh, they're all modded in. He's a bit, a bit twerky, uh, but yeah, this is like the big coral reef in the middle, and uh, he's hopping around like crazy. Ooh, look at his eyes. He's stoned on drugs. Well, let's uh, move on. Let's not look at the stone fish. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we have some uh, some really cool. Oh, I look, I like those gripe those groupers. Those are giant groupers. Um, those are very cool. But these are just general uh, colorful. And a little bit of a, a difference in size, like a coral fish, which I want. I want to have like a, a nice little tank in here to actually have that, um, because I think that this is one of the main things. The idea of this building was to be sort of like a shark tunnel, 
Uh, although you can't build a shark tunnel in uh, in, the, in this game, uh, it's not possible. I wanted to have something like it, so this comes close uh, as close as you can in the game. And it looks, it, in my eyes, it looks very cool. So let's go and look at it from the from the top. Um, we can make the ceilings go away, go transparent with this one. Uh, I also, by the way, I have removed the visitors. As you can see, there are visitors in the park, but it is easier to do a tour without them. You can still hear them um, on the on the actual uh, when you run around. So, and this is a, the the top view without the roof. So we have the two little staff areas here and here, and we have done uh, the exhibits over here, the real exhibits, because these are the animals that actually need care. And this is the the sort of the the middle piece where people can just sit around and relax. That that's why we also have the benches over here. Uh, well, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys liked the first episode of this series. If you really liked it, then please leave like and or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to not miss a single episode. It's really important for a first episode, like I said, to get some uh, response from you guys, from the audience, to see if it's actually worth going on with it. Next episode, what we're gonna do next episode, I already chose an animal, but you can still uh, leave your you leave your comments if you want to. We're gonna uh, build this zoo and we're probably gonna branch off into two paths over here and then build exhibits around all of this. Um, until it's it's almost full. Um, I'm gonna build very certainly some spacious um, exhibits for for the outside animals. I mean these are little tank animals, but for the outside animals, uh, we're gonna build a, a bit more spacious exhibits. And next week we're gonna actually go to the swamp. We're gonna build a sort of a mix ex exhibit. Uh, to be honest, we have we're gonna have more than one animal in it, uh, and we're gonna have a large carnivore in it. So that's gonna be very very cool. And if you guys think that you know what I'm talking about, then leave a comment about which animal. Uh, you think we're gonna put in the zoo next. So I hope you guys enjoyed and as always I've been Hipbone, you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.